Welcome to my channel, uh, White Raven's Cauldron. Um, I hope you're all well this evening. So I'm doing a tarot card read for Capricorn. So this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. This is going to be for October 31st, so almost like a Halloween special, but I'm a working witch, so it's all tarot card readings are special to me. So just because it's Halloween just means the portal's a little bit more open with me communing with spirits. Um, I will pre-warn, yeah, I do swear and cuss in my videos. That's just because I'm a real ass bitch. You know, I'm going to give it to you as it is. I am sick and tired of being prim and proper and speaking correctly during my readings to please people who can't stand real energy. So if you don't like real energy, you're on the wrong channel. Go and find, you know, your other YouTubers that are like your divine counterpart, blah, blah, blah. You know, half the time you can't understand what the fuck he's saying. You know, this is just the real harsh, blunt truth, people. So, Capricorn. What is coming towards Capricorn, please? Sun, moon, rising. Crosswatchers, you're welcome here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or you have Capricorn somewhere in your chat. So, what is coming towards Capricorn, please? Career, love, finances. Oh, shit, I've just realised I ain't got my magic reading ring on. Let me go get my magic reading ring. You'll know which one I'm on about when you see it. It's the real big stupid ass purple one. <laughs> there we go, I've got it. Oh shit. Oh, I fucking wrecked this evening. There we go, there it is. My purple reading ring. Okay, one more shuffle. Capricorn, what is coming to us? Capricorn. Okay, Archangel Michael, thank you for being here this evening. I apologise for my cuss words. I know you stand there with your arms folded telling me that I am a dirty mouth lady, but I do apologise. Okay, what's coming towards Capricorn, please? What is coming towards Capricorn? Always seem to have really positive readings, Capricorns. Like, I get so jealous sometimes. Like, look at this shit. The Ace of Cups. Love. Love, love, love. This is all about being... Well, people fucking like being around you, Capricorn, that's for sure. You're very intuitive. You're very good at reading people as well. This has been good at reading situations and reading people. Like, you can sniff out a bullshitter. Um, this is indicate this could indicate a new relationship and um, coming together with someone. Oh, you're just having a fucking relationship with yourself because aren't you worth it? Yes, you are, Capricorn. You want people to fall in love with you? You've got to fall in love with yourself first. And that's exactly what this card is saying. This card is asking you to have a glow up. It's asking you to realise your worth, how special you are, how important you are. And no, I'm not just saying that to make you feel good. This is the truth. You need to see how great you actually are and how much, you know, love and aspiration and encouragement you give to other people around you. This is you, you needing to wake up to yourself. But also, as I said, you could be falling in love with a whole new person. Or if you're in an existing relationship, this could be, you know, a love that's sort of levelling up to a higher plane. But we'll find out. What's the strength, please, when facing this? What's the strength for Capricorn? Strength for Capricorn. Okay. Wow. Ooh, Queen of Wands could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, maybe a female around. Or oh, this is you. You may have fire signs somewhere in your chat, but that doesn't matter anyhow because we all embody every single star sign. Whether you believe it or not, we do. This is a woman who owns her shit. She has a clean home. She dresses nicely. She smells good. She likes order. You know, she's got her shit together. Nothing goes unnoticed with this lady, but she's fair. So your strength is you or female counterpart. But this is a strength. This is maturity. She likes things in order. She's a teacher, a doctor, a midwife. You know, they're always women of power. This is a powerful lady. And it's someone who's not afraid of, of taking on challenges as well. So right now you're in a place, place of power. You're in a place of power in something. What's the weakness, please? Weakness for Capricorn. What's the weakness for Capricorn? Ace of Wands. All right, all right. So first things first, for some of you, there is no sexy time right now. 
there is no getting it on someone may be holding back this could be you are them this is because somebody's very stable very mature oh that's how i'm fucking reading it anyhow they're very aware they don't give away their sacred gifts very easily you know if you want something you've got to work for it it's not just given but the ace of wands reversed um now again please remember i'm not having a pop at you so don't think i am but it can indicate disappointment or not being able to see a happiness that is right in front of you it's almost like you've lost your focus you've lost your direction a bit let's get some advice you see this is why i like to clarify or someone's lost their focus they're losing their way death major change and transformation is needed somebody may be undergoing a transformation somebody may be changing changing from what they used to be to something that is much more powerful now and i feel like this could be you capricorn you are changing you don't think you are you don't think you're making changes maybe you're feeling a bit stagnant but you are this is major transformation could be dealing with a scorpio as well what's the ace of cups for capricorn clarify the ace of cups for capricorn i mean the death card is fucking scary I mean, I ain't scared of that shit. It's fucking skull on a horse, God's sake. It's death. I mean, that's always scary. But aren't we always scared of change anyhow? We're scared of new things. Because we don't know, we're not we don't feel like we're in control. We don't know what's gonna happen. But this death is here to say you don't need to be in control because you've already got it. You already won the show. I'm just helping you. Right. So for the ace of cups, I'm gonna shuffle again. I've got too many cards. What's the Ace of Cups, please? Clarify the Ace of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Capricorn. Okay, Prince of Wands reversed. So definitely could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So somebody's acting a bit of a prick right now. They're angry, they're self-centred. Um, they're not very... They're not making themselves known or acting like they're attached to you. This is someone who acts quite detached. They can be a little bit overly flirtatious as well, I'm not going to lie. You know someone who's full of themselves a bit? A little bit of a jack the lad, the know-it-all, cheeky. And maybe you fall in love with somebody. Or you start getting feelings for somebody who really you know you shouldn't, but you can't fucking help it. It's like a, a pull. It's like a pull towards them. I'm going to put my cup of tea in the picture. I'm sorry. I'm fucking British. You know what us British are like for our tea. We're tea addicts. I'm not a coffee addict. I'm a tea addict. I drink that shit like it's going out of business. I mean, there's no wonder I'm always on the fucking toilet. What's the Queen of Wands? Let's see why she's here. Why's the Queen of Wands here, please? Why's the Queen of Wands here? But we've got fire all over this. Like, this is like, don't get your fingers burned strength reversed so you've been exhausted someone's been exhausted you capricorn and all you've fucking done is love them but you're tired you're exhausted you're you almost feel like someone's playing games with your heart and you're trying to remain in control you're trying to remain fucking strong like the queen of or, or king that you are but underneath the surface surface you're cracking you're tired there's also a lot of jealousy. There's some jealousy. Someone's jealous. This could be you or someone towards you, but someone's very, very jealous. Someone may be jealous of a love commitment. Let's see if someone's reversed. Yeah, nine of cups reversed. Someone is, someone's very greedy. They may have a drinking habit. Or in a, like, like they're, they're very greedy. They've got a greedy mentality. Could be greed in sex or flirtation or women or men someone's very overly familiar and it's it could be seen as quite gross actually like you're really just gonna sleep with that what the fuck but i mean that's not the case maybe because we ain't got the three swords here so you know i'm not gonna jump the gun but there's definitely a lot of greed selfishness what's the death what's the death for capricorn what's the death But yeah, I can see you someone's tired and they don't feel worth. 
I don't feel like they're worth something. Ace of coins. Well, that just fucking took a 10 for the better, didn't it? So, this major transformation brings in some fucking money. This brings in a gift that you can feel, you can touch, you can take this to the bank. You are waiting on something. You've maybe been fighting for something as well. Fighting against enemies, people, and you're going to win. You're going to get something. If you don't play the lottery, have a bash at it, because this is important. The aces are always important. They're a major. Not like the major arcana, but they're, they're a major in sense of aces always indicate new beginnings, new starts in a big way. So this scary transformation you're going through, just go with it. Because there's some fucking money coming. Wow. Okay, final outcome for Capricorn. I'm going to pull some oracles so don't you dare click off with that trigger finger. I'm getting bored now. You fucking wait. Final outcome, please, for Capricorn. Ooh. Wow. The star Capricorn. Well, if you've been thinking about taking some of if you're a writer or you're a singer or self-employed or wanting to start a new job, this is saying go for it because you are going to be the star of the show. You are you are in, you are very employable right now, but this is also saying you need to have hope and optimism. You need to you're going to feel good. Some of you may even change the way you look with this money. I can see like a change, and you become like a goddess. This you you change. That's amazing. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Let's get a Wisdom of the Night Oracle, please. Capricorn. Woo. Fly straight out. Okay, chaos. Well, we're not going to panic over that because sometimes that's a good thing. Even though it looks scary, it's just clearing the path, Capricorn. That's all it's doing. And it's doing it in the quickest way, which, you know, can be painful. We're not going to deny that. But when you come out the other side of it, so, my Capricorn child, you have nothing to fear. It's here to remind you that after a storm, the air is cleared and life will begin again, even better than before. The silly thing is, if you refuse to take shelter, then you're going to get soaked and you may have to repair a lot of damage. If you create the chaos, you will have to clean it up. But if others are the cause, you must step out of it and wait out the storm. Because you'll be glad you did. A good thing to say to yourself is, no drama. No drama. Now, the in card is an incredibly good card to get because it's in the upright position. This is saying that this is a time of calculated receptivity. As you gracefully await what is coming, you need to be ready to accept it. Yin does not involve frozen dreams or even resting but rather consciously allowing things to flow, poised to receive the bounty that will be made available to you. It implies sensitivity as you alertly study the actions of others and contemplate how they will affect yours and you. Remember, you must make space for miracles to appear. Be the shaped, not the shaper, because you will see how quickly your dreams manifest. And that's why the star and the ace of coins is here. The chaos with the death is... Changes are scary, and sometimes they're out of our control, just like a storm is. It's that no one can control it, but it clears the path, and it does, and it's clearing it for something amazing, Capricorn. So this is a brilliant reading. I'll leave that there. This is for October thirty first. Like, share, subscribe, share the shit out of this video, and give me a big thumbs up. Keep your little kitchen witch happy, and I'll see you all again soon.